m'avais dit que tu serais de retour au matin. Et voilà que tu passes ta journée avec elle. Tu m'as menti. I'll save the day, ma'am. Leave it to me. Oh, whoops, that's not the right button. Still leave it to me, though. You're welcome. I think old controls just came back to me suddenly, because I'm pretty sure it used to be spacebar to tackle people in earlier games, but uh, now it is E. <clears throat> However, I don't think that's new. I think that was the case in, in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, maybe Assassin's Creed 4 as well. I can't remember. Not sure about 3, but before that it was definitely spacebar. I, well, I'm pretty confident, I guess. I suppose I could still be wrong. What are you doing here? This is a private tragedy. Yet here I am investigating it. Huh. Funny how that works. Wait, it's you? If you must know, I am Amélie Morvoisin. This is... Wow, that makes this easy. My elder sister, Valérie Duclos. I refuse to believe that Georges poisoned her, even after what she said. Georges. Valérie and I were quite close, but I must say, she was simply dreadful the entire evening, drinking, <laughs> insulting everyone. Accidental smoke bomb. That has to be the f like the fourth or fifth time I've done that. If you must know, I am Amélie Montvoisin. This is... was. My... Damn you! Interfering where you're not wanted. You made this easy for me, being right next to the murder scene. I did much more for the honor of the family. 
She was nothing but a vile, hectoring drunk. The way to just admit to it right away, openly. You. If I were you, I'd be careful what I drank. Oh shit, should I be careful what I'm drinking? I love a hot chocolate myself. I believe I'll have one now. Meanwhile, see if there's something you want. As always, I have to walk out of the room. Because, I don't know. I just have to. Seems polite. Alright, another murder mystery down. Let's see. This is the one I can't get to over here, I believe. Uh, so, let's not try that one. There's another one up here, though. Let's try for this one. Oh, really easy one. One difficulty. Holy crap. It's been a while since so I've been handed a one-star difficulty anything. Bartow the actor. I rent him a room upstairs for his discreet encounters. This evening he arrived with a bouquet and said a young lady would soon follow. I went out back. When I returned, I found these flowers scattered in the trail out of the street. Then a man dressed in shabby black robes, you know, like a, a poor student, came running down the stairs and out the door. Very odd. Nothing bad.
Encore un disciple de Kalios pourchassant mes démons. I am the actor Ficaron. Loved by all from Marseille to Ghent. We have a tight-knit theater troupe here. We all get along very nicely, although, well... Pascal can be difficult and argues endlessly with Barthol, but nothing serious. What do you ask? I am the actor Ficaron, loved by all from Marseille to Ghent. We have a t You are a clever man. It was my finest role. I waited until Laurent killed Barthol, then I killed Laurent. Any man who has a sister, would do the same. Ah, hello. So delightful to see the man who put me here. Where I have no audience. Actors. I'd give them all the chop if I had my druthers. See what you like. Okay, let me just exit the doorway, though. Huh, I don't see any more murder mysteries. <clears throat> okay, uh, one of the few remaining things that I have been neglecting are Paris stories, which I guess are assassination missions. So I'll do any one through three stars that I see those. Good. Uh, I guess I haven't been that neglectful. Cleared most of the side. Oh, that's the murder mystery I can't do. Still don't know how to get to the top of this viewpoint and maybe this one too it's been a while since I checked this one all right how about these five wow <coughs> both five star difficult well this is a five star zone I guess that makes sense I guess it matches Generally, the zone is in. So, all right, maybe I don't have any of those to do. Great. Does so that mean I should uh, start? Let's see, heist. Is a heist just the same as a co-op mission? I think so. Or wait, no. This is a co-op mission. I don't need other players. I could do it solo, but okay. Interesting to know. So what 
is the deal with heist then? Playing public? Two players max. Well, co -op. some oh, some of these are four players. Uh, I don't. I've never done a co-op with four players. That would be interesting. But I'm not equipped for a five-star mission. Let's check uh, on the easier side of things. Are there uh, easy heisting co-ops? Let's see. Nice, but I don't necessarily want to play with anyone if I do heists. Co-op missions, maybe. I was expecting that for co-op missions, but I guess you can play them alone, too. Plus, you get multiple rewards from them, I think. So, you sh you're, I think you're supposed to do them multiple times. Wow, am I really... Am I really suddenly finding it hard to find something to do that's three-star difficulty or less? Did I just suddenly get to that point without expecting it? I mean, I have all these chests to look at, but I don't know what's one-star lockpicking and what's three-star lockpicking. Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess I could check the easy zones. Uh, I mean, out of curiosity, I do want to see if <laughs> easier zones generally equals easier lockpicking. I, I would assume so, but I can't remember for sure. So... If, uh... If there are level 1 chests in the level 1 zones, I guess I'll do those real quick. Because I'm tired of seeing so many red chests on the map. <laughs> that's like what... That's my... The, the more I clear up other stuff, <laughs> the higher percentage of my screen those chests take up. And the more they start to annoy me. Okay, nope. This is a three-star chest, so that's why I hate these chests, because it's like, well, might as well not even bother with them until my lockpicking is level three. Because otherwise I have to check every single freaking chest manually. I'm not going to do that. I don't have time for that. Alright, let's get give one last scan around the map to make sure... I'm going to ignore random chests because I assume... I'm going to assume at this point that I left them there because I couldn't reach them. Either they are underground... Well, well, because I could couldn't or didn't want to reach them. They're either underground, which I haven't felt like doing yet, really, uh, or they're behind a locked door. So, Or I haven't walked over there yet, which is fine. I'll just get it later. No big deal. So if uh, if nothing seems very tempting to do right now, and I'm not, I'm not sure about heists and co-op missions, I wasn't really thinking about that tonight, so I'm not going to really do those yet. Maybe next time. I'm not... I want to check on this chest, actually. <laughs> Because I, I don't know if I actually ran over that far, because there's no fast travel over there. So I'm gonna check on uh, I'm gonna check on that. <laughs> that one's been bothering me for a little while, because I feel like I might be able to get that one. But so far, the chances I'm gonna do a story mission next are pretty high, <laughs> based on the fact that I just skimmed half the map and didn't stop for anything.
tapping out for one sec. Or like ten. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe slightly more than ten. But not much more than ten. Hey Mia, are you my, my viewer, or is, or is it someone else? Hmm. I just looked over at chat on my phone. I have a viewer. Well, whoever it is, I hope you're enjoying. Uh, I would kill that guy, but oh wait. Oh, he's gonna get chased by those guys. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh man, I ran to the side of this building to get away from those guards. Okay, it's not me. I didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, oh, wait. This should be far, because that was the problem with the chest. Huh. This way runs the same way as me. I hit man. That's such a pet peeve of mine from this game and Syndicate. Locked chests. God, I hate them. In both this and the next game. And these are the last two games I played. So, <laughs> it's one of my freshest memories from the game series. Is lock chests like damn it? Why did they implement lock chests? So I don't know if that continues in Origins. I hope not. I hope I hope ancient Egypt wasn't smart enough to have proper lock chests that required lock picking, because uh, otherwise I'll be a little annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Some game mechanics you just don't like when they add. That was one of them in this game. Why are there lock chests? Why? Why? I guess it makes sense. I guess it's realistic. But why? That's not fun. I would rather have fewer chests than have lock chests. I mean, it is pretty easy once... <laughs> when you have higher level lock picking than the difficulty of the chest or door, it is really easy. So I guess there's that. <laughs> but level 3 difficulty will still always be as difficult as level 1 is for me right now. Uh, and I'll never be able to make it easier than that. But... That's uh, fine. I guess with my belt I hold a lot of extra lock picks, so I can screw up a lot. Also, I was correct. I was able to get that chest. Uh, I also meant to check on this one on the way, but I didn't, so now I get to run back 250 meters. Alright. Uh, Why'd I go this way? I hope, I hope my random viewer isn't... Hmm. 
There's one person I hope it's not, and not for the reasons anyone might think. There's some. There's one of my friends who should be asleep right now, who I hope is not watching. If if it is you, because you've found my some of my other social media stuff. Go to sleep. Anyway, don't worry about the details of that. But if that is you, and you kn you'll know it's you if I'm <laughs> if it is you, you'll know I'm talking about you. <laughs> so viewer, if it is you, I'm not gonna say her name, but uh, I know you might not be feeling well, but get some sleep or watch this while you're trying to sleep. And hopefully fall asleep while watching, at least. Alright. Time to skim the map again and see what's up. I don't know why I said it that way. Uh, I could probably handle some four-star stuff, but I'm not going to bother yet. Uh, these chests are pretty far, too, so I'll check on these also. But I'm really grasping for straws here. That's for side stuff to do. So we are getting very close to the story mission, I'm sure. Water soon. What is that red thing down there? Oh, it's just a French flag. Hang on a second. I gotta send a Discord message. Just to be sure. Sorry, random viewer, if you are a random viewer. Uh, <laughs> sorry for if I'm making you feel weird by assuming you're someone else. They're just a friend I care about that I don't want to burn themselves out. Now is not a time for them to be awake. So... That's all. Oh, shoot! Sorry, guys! Whoops! Didn't mean to jump down right in between two red guards. Damn. That was uh, unfortunate. So the missions are too hard, but I'm gonna I, I'm gonna assume I ignored most of this zone and see if if I could collect that metal too, because I'm pretty sure I ignored a lot of these five star zones down here just because of the challenge. Um, at least in the first half of my exploration. But uh, don't worry, I'm still grasping for straws here. There's probably not much left after this.
Honestly, the biggest benefit of doing all this side shit is clearing the freaking clutter off of the map. I know I've said this at least once before, but uh, that was a big problem starting this game. The map started looking so cluttered. It was so bad. I mean, honestly, I'd have to look at how many play sessions I've had in this game, because I've recorded almost all of them. And at least three quarters of them so far have been just collecting side shit. I mean, admittedly, I'm doing it early in the game, but still. <laughs> Like, this map, despite how cluttered it looks here on this screen, this map used to be a lot more cluttered. And it'll look so much better when I clear the the red lock chests off the map. But that's a little ways off. But, uh... Man, what a difference it'll make. There's a lot of chests in this zone. They can't all be underground, can they? Hmm... Do, uh, I'm doing one last sweep for chests in, uh, in higher difficulty zones, because I know I've been pretty thorough in the lower difficulty ones. But <clears throat> there aren't even many of those left to check for. It's only been half hour since I started my stream, roughly 40 minutes. So, yeah, it'll be over soon. The wait will be over. I will be like, well, gotta do a story mission, you know? Yeah, I saw four sword in there. Alright. Let's stick... Well, oops. Nope, 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 nope. Let's stick to the zone for now. Let's do a quick round of the chests, and then I, uh, if there's nothing here, I will do a story mission next. Uh... Let me just make sure I mean that, but pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do mean that. All right, so this sweep of chests will be the last thing I do before a story mission. How much money do I have? Uh, not a lot, because I upgraded three more pieces of gear. I spent 75000 or so recently. Uh, but still, it's not like... Uh, still need to save... Uh, like a quarter million or something. Uh, no, that's uh, behind the locked door. Or two. Shut up! I didn't do anything! You! Good guy! Good at smashing, ripping, tearing, and the odd amputation! Wow, someone, uh, drank some piss in their coffee this morning. Sounds like he needs to relax. Run away, bitch. I'm gonna get you. I don't see any doors, so this must just be accessible.
Alright, I, I haven't gotten a response on Discord, which means it's either not the person I was worried it was, or they're purposely not telling me. <laughs> hmm. I do think either is possible, however, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and assume they're sleeping. And I will assume you are a random viewer, so thanks for watching, whoever you are. Hopefully you enjoy random exploration in Assassin's Creed Unity, because that's kind of what I've been doing. As I get a message. Oh, good. <laughs> Wasn't who I thought it was. That was... okay. Worried me for a second. It's like, nope, you best be going to sleep. Alright, one of my buddies will be on soon. Uh, he just messaged, uh, that was the message I read. <coughs> he said he, uh, he'll be on in about 10, or he'll be home in 10, which means he'll be home in like 15 or 20 minutes. Maybe more. Unless we're lucky. So, if he, if he does what he says, then we're lucky. So, generally, that's the assumption with, uh, with Raj. <laughs> His, uh, his time estimates are notoriously low. Like, he takes double the time he says he'll take regularly. Like, that's the kind of... Uh, <laughs> that's that's the lack of skill he has in estimating his availability. <laughs> it's really funny sometimes. Uh, we, uh... We, meaning his friends and I, like the guys, do make fun of him for that, because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Despite everything else Raj is good at, he is terrible at estimate est giving an ETA, a proper ETA. It's one of his one of the worst things he's he does. <laughs> one of the things he's worst at doing, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to say. Nope, that is underground. Okay, definitely not anything right there. Took me a long time to figure that out. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, uh, the uh, us guys have learned to uh, deal with it by uh, just assuming any time he gives a time estimate, uh, he doesn't know what he's actually saying, uh, and he means at least twice the time. It uh, saves us from a lot of frustration. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. He's just one of those people. That's fine. I mean, he's, there's some people that <laughs> you, just, you just have to learn to deal with the way they are. <laughs> like, if you listen to my Satisfactory uh, YouTube upload from two days ago, I mean, if you've watched or listened to any of them, like, you, you'll notice one of my buddies is really sensitive to being asked questions. It's like, dude, all right. So, I mean, sorry I didn't memorize the way you set up this and that and that <laughs> since I, I've been doing other stuff. Like, he, instead of just answering, he says, oh, it's, it's over where this is. Like, well, could could you tell me where that is? Like, it's like I, I wish you'd just be more helpful instead of questionnaire. Like, uh, man. So everyone has their things. You just, and I learned to deal with that, too. It's more like, uh, I'm starting to, like, with that one, I'm starting to be like, well, listen, so, uh, sorry if I upset you. Like, I'm trying to be, like, really kind <laughs> to him because... A lot of times that's the best way to deal with people like that, because <laughs> they don't expect your kindness, so it kind of throws them off. So I just, <laughs> last time I just started to say, wait, you know, I'm sorry if that upsets you. I'm, you know, I'm just, I, don't, I just don't have, I don't remember. You know, if it's not too much trouble, I would appreciate it. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a hassle, but you know, I try, you know, and I, and I mean it when I say that. It's not like I'm being disingenuous, but it's <laughs> although it is annoying. When you ask for help and someone kind of questions why you're asked for it, it's like, alright. Although that's annoying. 
when it's a long time friend like that, man. It's complicated social situations. Gotta learn to deal with that shit sometimes. So, uh, I don't know. I've learned that his sensitivity and whatever stubbornness answering questions for whatever bizarre reason is <laughs> A, out of my control, but B, uh, ooh, missions I could do while I'm here. Uh, but B, just not worth the time. Like, I, I have so much better shit to deal with than his his need to be sensitive about being asked questions. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> fuck you then. I'll, uh, I'll go do something with my other buddy, you know, and uh, focus on other shit. Like, I'm here to have fun, not to, not to turn us into a machine where we're 100% a fit. Like, you know, I think he wants our factory to, like, I think you'd just, just like, hey, well, if you're not helping us or hurting us, I'm still here to have fun. It's still a game, kind of my point of view. But, yeah, I mean, I know I sound annoyed, but at the same time, if you listen to my streams, like, you'll... You learn that I've learned to deal with his personality. He's, uh... And it was funny. One time he was like, Oh, man, it's so difficult to talk to sometimes. I'm like... Oh. <laughs> like, that's funny. That might be true, actually. <laughs> like, I didn't deny it. I was like, that might be true. But it's also funny coming from you. <laughs> was my reaction? I was like, you know? Because <laughs> you absolutely are. I mean... Uh, I mean, I can't I can't ask you a question without you snapping at me. I mean, come on. Why, why so sensitive? We're just trying to have fun here, you know? Um, so that, that was an interesting interaction with him, too. It's like, all right, well, I mean, let's not make this too serious. I mean, okay, slow down a little bit, buddy. Do you have a copy of the but, uh, yes, I believe I do. Man, a I'm looking to borrow a section of it, one focusing on secret societies. Give me a moment to... Steve, stop him! How are you? Got you! Sorry, I, I was muted for a bit there. Uh, I was trash talking the guards there. I was like, ah, oh, bitch. What is this? What's with this fast guard? Or, not guard. This fast thief. What the hell? Oh, ow. I don't have any medicine. Oh, no. That's not good. I forgot to refill on medicine. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm losing. <laughs> oh no! Don't shoot me! Oh, he shot a civilian. What an asshole! Oh, now, well, now he shot me. Damn. All right. H hang on. While while I reload. All right. Now, now that I know what to expect from that. Okay. That guy is a a fast runner, and B needs to be caught quickly once I catch up to him. Okay. Lesson learned. Also. Okay, <laughs> I I was AFK and I just I heard it load. I was like, hang on, let me come back and look. <laughs> like I don't want to desynchronize again if he's running really far away from me. All right, definitely need more water now. So I have gotten it. That is why I went AFK. Hello, my friend. Did someone just walk by and call me his friend? What a nice guy. I am your friend.
This looks like the building I first started in. Man, these guys- I don't have medicine yet! <sighs> yes, my medicine is low. Yes, I will refill right now. Oh, is he moving even though I, uh, don't see him? He is. I got you, bitch. No, I don't got you. These guys again. No, I missed! Arrgh! Come on! I thought I had him. Do I have to get him from above? What's the what's the deal with this guy? I guess. Yeah, he's still moving. Hmm. What happens if I approach him from the front? Bitch! Got you! What? I got him! What? What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Get back here! Ah. Alright, one more in that area. Oh, this area. Still in the area. But, uh, maybe that's the last thing, then.
this easy on yourself. Under it! Die! <laughs> see a friend of Mirabal in these troubling times. Who is publishing this propaganda? I don't know, but I'd love to wring their necks. Maybe you find them. I'll see what I can do. Starcraft. Yo, bro. What's up? How's it going? Alright, how are you? Happy Friday. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> I'm very yeah. happy it's Friday. Likewise. Ready to hop in some Starcraft? Uh, I need to pull down two posters. Out of three, I already pulled one down from this area, but yeah, otherwise. Uh, this is combat. That's fine. It's faster if I just kill everyone. Thanks for the help, buddy. Alright, two out of three taken. One left. Tonight on Sanibel Island, Paradise Lost, the gorgeous beach getaway torture shreds by Ian's Wind and Storm Search. 
confronting a massive rescue effort. The damage is catastrophic and it is difficult. We know that people have been through a traumatic experience here uh, and they just want to uh, get off the island and be safe. The barrier island, which is home to more than 6,000 year-round residents, is now only accessible by boat or helicopter. After the three-mile causeway that connects to the mainland was left bad and broken. The view of the damage oh, is almost twice as the just how easily Ian chewed through tons of concrete and steel. But to be the damage from a bomb, heartbreaking. When you realize this is the only way an entire community can reach the place they call home. We join Lee County Sheriff Carmine Marcino on an aerial survey of Sanibel to see the devastation firsthand. Howard Simon and his wife Beth retired to Sanibel three years ago. They decided to evacuate at the last minute, but still felt the full wrath of Ian's fury. We rode out ferocious winds for about a day, um, but we were safe. With cell service and power knocked out on the entire island, he has no way to know how his oh, house yes. or his friends have been. We don't know when we can ever get back there All right, to see mission our complete. <laughs> Everything we have. That was uh, interesting timing. I was, I was literally starting to struggle to find any side stuff to do right now. So I was about to do a story mission. Oh, good timing. I cleaned up a lot of random shit. Everything that I need to do is higher difficulty than I'm ready for, so... Quitting!